Hello. I'm going to be making an attempt up to peak one. We'll see. It's, it's going to be a sunny day. I started pretty early. It's uh, 6 09. So the snow's looking pretty good right now, but we'll see how it goes. It might get slushy later on. You gotta go up there first and then follow the ridge up to peak one, which is a very noticeable peak when you're driving down I-70 right after Silverthorn. Just starting out, but here's a gorgeous sunrise over the city of Frisco. Big lake in the back there. Feeling good, snow's good, not slippery, pretty light. Beautiful day. It's warming up quick. A little bit further up, sunrise is just magnificent. I've been booting it this whole way and haven't had any problems. Looks like following some tracks. Probably go up to the Royal Peak. And then I'll probably have to go off track to get to the Peak One. But man, what a view. Made it to the fork. I was following these other people's footsteps in crampons, but again, no footsteps the way I want to go. So I'll probably switch it up to snowshoes and go into climbing mode. I might go to Mount Royal lookout area once, uh, if I get back, if I have energy, we'll see. Right now, onward. There's peak one in the distance and the shack that's on the nearby peak. I'll remember, get the name. Peak one, I don't know if that looks doable. Uh, I don't know. I might be able to get to the top of the rocks there, but as far as getting to the summit, that looks pretty scary. Well, uh, of course I'll see when I'm there. Still breaking trail, but the snow is much better up here. The snowshoes are barely sinking in, packing really well. Got big cornices on the left side here, the south side. So stick, I'll be sticking to the right side of the ridge as I go across. But the scenery is just incredible, just incredible. You see Silverthorn and Dylan and Frisco. Made it to the first peak. And there's peak one. Just around the corner. I am hearing some booms. I wonder if they're doing avalanche control on the other side. It sounds like it's coming from the other side of the mountain. I might switch to crampons here. But maybe go a little, I don't know. Probably stay on those rocks around the ridge. Looks like it goes up and then down and then up. So we'll see. There it is. I get the pleasure of ascending up that. I've traversed across the 
right side here because the left side was had all the cornices so it looks like a pretty straightforward path up looks safe Sitting down, having a break. Recovering a bit. That was intense and insane. Oh. I wonder if that's Gray and Tories over there. I was basically crawling three points of contact the whole way up. Slow, safe and slow. Probably just gonna go right to the top of that and then call it and turn around the rest of it though. Well I just came down and I was all the way at the top of that, that false summit there. And uh, it's fucking steep and I'm still having it wasn't so bad going down, I thought it was going to be scarier. It was actually probably more scary going up it, just because it's so steep. Uh, incredible. What an amazing day. What an absolutely amazing day. Perfect weather. The snow is just, just wonderful. Like it's not slippery and it's not too deep. It was just. I mean, I'm not one to classify things, but, you know, I was using my hands and knees, using my ice axe to pull myself up on rocks, going over those rocks up there. It was awesome. All my, all my training to good use. And then, of course, the beauty. It's got to be grays and... I'm gonna head on down and I've gotten past all the sketchy parts. Head back up to the snowshoeing part. And make my way back down and celebrate. There's what's left, and I'm not gonna go up that. Uh, basically, my energy is just wiped out, and I still need the energy to get back down. So. down with the snowshoes much faster going down than going up I think that's what killed me the most was just the breaking trail on the snowshoes got me so tired but every time I climb I feel like I'm getting a little stronger my confidence is getting up and I keep learning more what I previously said about the classes, I have no fucking idea what the difference between class two and three and four is. So what I climbed could have been class two, I don't know. Uh, I guess that's something to learn along the way. I'm just gonna follow my tracks back down. See you at the bottom. Well, back down at the bottom of the trail. You see the train's very different from when I started. Just from the heat has picked up and the snow is melting. It was slushy all the way down. Kind of difficult, but seven hours, 13 minutes. That's how long it took me. It is 114, yeah. So it took me about five and a half hours to go up. And then about, what? An hour and 45 minutes to go down. But time to go celebrate.